I'm going to use a really silly analogy and a really silly example to, to talk a little bit more about discussion type questions and why they're challenging and some stuff that you need to think about uh, in order to, to get better at the skill and in order to think about your skill when it comes to discussion questions. So bear with me, this is a completely non, <laughs> you know, this is a completely non-terminology or, you know, this is a, like a, this is a non-topic based discussion that I, I want to have. And I just want you to think about the stuff that I'm saying. So let's say I asked you to discuss with me how to make coffee. Let's say that was was the discussion. There's a whole bunch of things that you'd need to think about before you start answering that. Now, for most of us, uh, the moment that I ask you, how do you make coffee? Most of you will, in your mind, go, yes, I know that. So if I say to you, could you pass a question that asked you how to make coffee? Most of you would say, yeah, totally. I know how to make a coffee. Like I've done it a million times. Maybe I've done it a million times because I'm addicted to coffee. <laughs> Maybe you haven't. But for most of you, you'd say, yes, absolutely. I know how to make coffee. So therefore, if, if someone asked me to, you know, to pass a question on making coffee, I'd like, I'd nail that thing. Is that necessarily true? I'm going to go with possibly not. Why? Well, because there's a couple of things you need to be aware of, of what I'm looking for from you and from what you're doing, context, background, etc., that actually might make this trickier than it seems. And the fact that in your head, when you read this and you go discuss how to make coffee, if you close your eyes, you can picture yourself in your kitchen or you know in the kitchen at work or someone's kitchen or whatever the case is, and you can picture yourself making coffee and it's the easiest thing in the world. It doesn't even require any thought. And that's where things start getting tricky because you know it so well, now you need to discuss it with someone else. 